um, which more and more evidence through it. I mean, if you oh, yeah. if you were to look up how much evidence for the word of God there is, uh, you you almost come to this conclusion that like it cannot be fake. Well, and that, like, that, it, well, no, but that's, Jordan, you do. that's like, what you, Jordan Peterson was just talking about. You yeah, just he was said, talking about Jesus, right? Specifically Jesus and right. Jesus. You have like almost like a Greek mythology type figure meeting with with the reality of humankind, and mm-hmm. it's all collides in Jesus. Right. And the proof of Jesus being a real person is great. Yes. Like be, be, besides the Bible, right? right? There's other books. There's other eyewitness accounts. There's right. other, even people who didn't believe in Jesus who wrote about Jesus even after the resurrection. Yes. Josephus is one of them. Yes. The Greek, I mean, we use his books in college. Yes. Right? To talk about the Roman and the Jewish wars that, and, and that, as historical, as historical context. context. Yes. Like they're like, it's good enough to write in history books. Right. But when there's Jesus stuff, let's just cross that out. Right. So either like you either take it as all truth or no mm-hmm. truth. Like how could you say that some person's crazy when they write about one thing and then accept everything they have as truth? Right. What changed? Right. That's another. So that's textual criticism, right? <laughs> and that's that's attacking that. Yeah. Because if you and that's a scheme of Satan too. Because if you can get him to doubt the word of God, God reveals Himself through His word. Right. That's right. And so that's one thing. But then you have the moral aspect of it, and that, which is funny because we just posted a video of Jordan Peterson, like you said. Where he's he's a like a philosopher, yes, and he and he's a very brilliant man, and he's right. come to this point where like it's not a matter of morality that separates him from God because he sees morality morality's answer in the right. Word of God and in Jesus Christ, which is why it's such a hard point for him to take that next step because he yeah. wants to commit. You could find the you could find archaeological evidence that the book that the Bible talks about that they have found, yeah. Like you can go to the Dead Sea Scrolls and see things that they found. You could go well, to the Hezekiah's tunnel plaque, which we looked up that what they found the 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 plaque, the Moabite stone. You can look that up where it talks about King David. You wouldn't find that in a history book, but it's there. Yeah. You could you could look at. And you do have a responsibility though to not just like sw- like what, like when we were talking about sweeping things under the rug is just to say, I don't know. Right. Like do the do the work to know. To know, yeah, exactly. And if, you might not know in the in the in the moment, but you can say like. You know, you know what, up. let's, let's figure it, let, let's look at this together, you know? Yeah. And like, and even like, you know, it's no secret while this is not a homeschooling podcast that we are passionate about home education, you're equipping your children to be able to answer those questions. And that's a huge issue. You know, when we, when we have, you know, our kids go to a Christian school and they graduate and then they go to a secular university, they're now hit with those questions that they have to answer because you have peers and you have professors and you have experts in fields or whatever. And so uh, apologetics is extremely important important for your children, especially before they leave your home.